Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video, let's talk about missing belts, melted belts, how to replace them if you don't have the original belt. So in this video guys, I'm going to share my simple tips, how to find the measurement of your lost belt, especially in a Walkman or a small cassette players. In this video, I have here my example. It has the original belt but I will pretend here that I don't know the belt so I'm going to pull out the belt so I'm going to pretend that the belt is melted or it's missing first thing first is to measure the slot where the belt rotates this is the flywheel it has here a guide and I'm using a caliper or you can use the motor pulley it has also the slot where the belt rotates so let's try to measure first so I have here 1.2 mm but I will round this one to 1 mm if you have this flywheel the slot in a 1 mm in my own experience about replacement belts, you can replace the belt more or less 0.7 until maximum of 1 mm. Take note guys, the thicker the belt, it will add speed. The thinner the belt, it will decrease the speed. So in that situation, you must have a test tape or a calibration or you know how to calibrate a cassette player that's one thing you need to know so in this video that's my technique I will get the slot and average if you have a 1 mm just like this one 1.2 mm or like 1.3 round off that to 1 mm so again, I will measure the, okay, so here it is 1.3 mm, I will round that one to one, so I will need a belt thickness about 0.7 until 1 mm, maximum in 1 mm, but I will replace that one 0.7 or 0.8 mm. Next is how you measure the length of the belt to measure the length of the belt in electronics just fold this one in half just like this then you measure then the unit is in centimeters since we don't know I'm pretending here that it has a loss or a melted belt I'm going to use a string to get my length of the belt I have here a string and this is from a sack of rice this is some kind of a yarn and the thickness more or less 1 mm let's measure this one more or less 1 mm first thing first is make sure you know the belt goes because sometimes Walkman has to fly wheel and it has a technique the first flywheel from the pulley sometimes it will pass on this side only going to the second flywheel turn around then go back with a small gear then back to the motor pulley so make sure you know where the belt pass and in this video I'm just sharing the simple mechanism of a Walkman or a cassette player so first thing first guys is to put the string so this is the placement of the belt so it is very simple tie the string not too tight it can cause damage to the gears so just average tightness then use a square nut
you can lock at least three times so that the string will not slip yeah then I will cut the string then detach the string then fold the string in half like this then take a ruler let's measure in centimeters let's check then it has a measurement about 5.5 centimeters in measuring the electronic belts it is in centimeters the length and the thickness millimeters so it is 5.5 centimeter now let's check the original belt if our measurement is correct so it is also 5.5 more or less 5.5 so you need to buy if in case you don't have the original belt you need to buy 5.5 centimeters belt and the thickness like i said this one it has a slot measurement about 1 mm so you need 0.7 to 1 mm maximum of 1 mm but i will not get a 1 mm thickness i will go 0.7 or 0.9 or 0.8 mm so let's check the original belt so it's in 0.9 there so if you have 0.7 that's fine 0.8 that's fine 0.9 that's fine 1 mm that's fine but like i said the thicker the belt it will add speed the thinner the belt it will lower the speed so you must calibrate your walkman or a cassette player or even a tape deck if you have replaced a new belt before i will end up this video guys i will share something what if there's the original belt but the belt is very loose okay like this one i will example this one as a loose belt already stretched so here get the original belt then you measure since this is 5.5 centimeters don't buy 5.5 centimeter buy 5 centimeters that's the easiest way in replacing belt if you have the original belt but in this video i'm sharing belt is missing or belt is melted but that's also my second tip that's all guys hope this video helps and please subscribe to my channel for more and more tips and interesting videos to come thanks for watching